Okay, uh, this lecture is uh, a lecture covering the first <coughs> two lessons of Markham, Markham 1 and 2. Uh, it is a short lecture. All the lectures will be fairly short uh, and just give the highlights of what's in the written PDFs. Um, you will need to really read the material and go over it and do the exercises in order to really understand everything that's there. But this will help you uh, get oriented and I uh, hope uh, clarify things that uh, you may need to, uh, to have a little more explanation of. Okay, well, one of the things we cover is what's a market. Um, we, this course is devoted to what we call marketing communication in order to understand how to write up communication material such as brochures or white papers or uh, web copy and uh, many other types of materials uh, for marketing purposes you have to understand what is marketing and in order to understand that you have to know what's a market. Um, here I put the classic definition is a sector of a population that are potential buyers of a product or service. A market can be uh, a, a geographical uh, market in other words people living in a certain country or a consequence can constitute uh, people with a certain kind of background, a professional background, uh, or it could be an age group. It's a way of grouping people who are uh, potential buyers of your product or service. Okay. High-tech markets are normally not geographically based. They are based on the professional or educational background, maybe the work background of the people who are the potential buyers. Uh, but examples might be Java developers or IT managers and this type of people. Okay. Maybe doctors or uh, engineers. Uh, the key to hard tech marketing is uh, basically referring other people to you. Okay, In other words, uh, generally people in the high tech area are professionals who uh, are, they will be interested in a product if it already has a good reference in uh, various professional journals, uh, various forums, uh, and uh, and just uh, word of mouth from other people in the profession. Okay? Uh, this is uh, as opposed to, let's say, uh, mass marketing of, uh, of, of soft drinks or clothes, uh, where it's a very different kind of psychology. Here, we're talking about one professional recommends it to another, and that has to be taken account into account when you are writing up the materials, of course. Um, if you look at the following, which would be high-tech markets? Well, um, you can think about this, but uh, generally it would be more like maybe medical secretaries because they use a certain kind of, uh, or they, they are engaged in a certain kind of activity in hospitals, and therefore they may use a certain type of software or a certain type, they need certain types of tools, uh, which makes them a group, a potential buyer group. Um, and uh, maybe coal mining engineers would also be a, uh, a high-tech group because they would use the similar tools and they have similar backgrounds uh, in professional training. Okay? Uh, sales managers may also constitute such a group because they, they may uh, need certain, uh, or they may have certain certain kind of training and they may also use certain types of tools and techniques that are uh, fairly widespread throughout their profession. But something like uh, Japanese children or the urban population in the United States would not be uh, a, a, a market for a high tech. It's not a high tech market uh, because it's too diverse. The, many Japanese children might be really good at mathematics and others might be good in, uh, in English and, and, and some of them are really great in literature, Japanese literature, whatever. There's no any one thing that draws them together for a high tech market. Okay, It's different, of course, for mass marketing of 